Hello and welcome again. In the last video, I talked about using different tags to build the structure of a web page. I also taught about how to do formatting of the text using bold, italic, and underline tags. In this video, let us explore how to use heading tags. Headings, if used properly on a web page, look very elegant. Heading tags vary in the size from H1 to H6, with H1 being the biggest one and H6 being the smallest one. So depending on whether you want to use a big main heading or a small subheading, you can make use of heading tags. It is fairly simple to use headings in HTML. You just need to write the text you want to make a heading inside the opening and the closing tag. Now let us save this file and open it in a browser. So as you see on the screen, the different heading tags have different sizes. Moving on to another important tag used for introducing space between lines is BR tag, also known as line break tag. Now HTML does not consider the spaces between the lines introduced by keyboard's enter key. But if you use BR tag, it automatically introduces an empty line. It is noteworthy if I say the format of writing BR tag is a little different than the other tags which need to be closed when opened. However, BR tag does not need to be closed in the usual way because it does not get applied to any text and does not affect the formatting of the text before it or after it in any way. However, you can use a backslash with a space within the same tag for good SEO purposes. Now comes the A tag also known as anchor tag for which HTML is so famous. Anchor is the internal or external link you want to redirect to when it is clicked. So practically what I'm going to do here is take some text and make it clickable with the link. Now here we make use of href property of a tag also called as hyperlink reference which defines the destination web address to which we want to redirect. Now we need to write the text which we want to appear on the screen as link. In my case, I have taken it as go to Facebook page. Now let's save the file and refresh the web page in the browser. If you notice the link is by default underlined and has a specific color which changes when you click it. Basically there are four states of a link which we will talk about later in CSS. Now if I click on this link, it will solve the purpose of redirecting to the Facebook. Now let us move on to yet another tag which can make your web pages alive. Yes, I'm talking about the image tags. Image tag is written as IMG. Let us learn it with an example. Let us copy this picture to the same folder in which my HTML file is lying. Now all we need to do is to write down the name of this picture in the source property of image tag with its type in double quotes. In our case, the type of this image file is .png. Again, SRC specifies the source address of the image. So let us save this and refresh this page in the browser. Now as you see, the picture is being displayed on the web page. Also, this tag does not need to be closed separately. I hope you understood the tags I talked about in this session. We have much more in the coming sessions. Thank you for watching.